Welcome back uh, to your channel Admit Lodha and myself Admit Lodha. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to create a company in Tally. So let's learn what is Tally first. Tally is an accounting software which provides you uh, the solution accounting of your day-to-day -day transaction. Apart from that, it can also handle uh, inventory, payroll, and filing of your TDS return and service tax return as well. So, in the series of the tutorials uh, going to come in a few days to go, I will show you uh, different features uh, which provide by Tally ERB9. So, first of all, we'll start with the Tally. We need to create a company. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a company. So this is the window. First, click on create company. I'm writing here my company name. Learn with Donuts Limited. Okay. What is the mailing address? Learn with Donuts Limited. 89. New Kapari Mumbai and here I can mention pin number as well in code 4001 statutory compliance for which country you want to uh, have a compliance I want for India I select India state which state I belongs to it is Maharashtra. In code, you can mention here as well. In code, after that, telephone number 022217812537 Okay, one number 9820923. This, 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 okay. Email you can mention email learn with loadhouse at the rate gmail.com. Yes, it is. After that, uh, enable auto backup. You want to take auto backup once, uh, whenever you close this uh, tally. I can click yes. I'm clicking yes. You may go for no also. Yes. Change the symbol uh, rupees accounting with inventory or accounts only. You just want to have accounts only function or you want wish to have account also with inventory. So uh, since this uh, our company is only for educational company, so accounts only will be sufficient. But I just uh, wanted to select accounts with inventory so that uh, in days to come when you wish to learn how to do inventory along with the accounts. We can use this company as well. Okay, so I'm uh, selecting accounts with inventory. But if you are a professional, if you are providing service, you don't have any inventory, so you can go for accounts only. Okay. Next, a financial year beginning uh, 14 2013, and books beginning from 14 2013 as well. Security control. Uh, if you want to add password and all, tally vault password. You can put here. I am not putting any password all here. Use control, uh, security control. You, have, you can select yes or no. I am keeping it no because uh, every time it will ask for password and all. I don't want to do that. But if you want to secure your tally that nobody, uh, nobody other than you can access, you can put the password here as well. Go to enter and this current symbol once again is rupee, you know, formal name INA, number of decimal places, what you want to have. I'm keeping two, you may keep it zero or whatever you want. Is symbol suffix to amounts? Uh, no, there's no need that every amount should have this kind of crazy symbol. I don't know, don't need this, so I keep it no. Symbol for decimal portion, I say, yeah. Show amounts in million? No, I want it in full rupees. Put a space between amount and symbol. Yeah, a 
as places okay decimal places for printing amounts in word 2 it is for printing only so i think it is clear for everybody and then go for yes and it will ask you accept or no you can just go through the entries you have done uh, earlier you just check it out once again if you are are sure that whatever you have done is correct you can click on yes otherwise you can go for no once you are going to go for no it will allow you to modify whatever details you want to modify then click enter and come here now once again and click on accept yes i am accepting now yes it's creating all the steps master importing all this thing and here it is my company has created now list of companies you can see over here learn with us limited current period this current date is this okay it's taking current date as this one so if i wish to change the current date i can change the current date as well so this is all for now in this next tutorial we we'll learn how to go about it how to create ledgers how to create accounting vouchers how to uh, post uh, entries into a system and other things we will show you that is all for now thank you very much